hands that you hold tomorrow and the next day and into the next decade. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your life together. These are the hands that will wipe tears of joy and sorrow from your eyes and the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will hold your family together and that will give you strength when you need it. These are the hands that, when wrinkled and spotted with age, will still be reaching for yours. Good evening, I'm Chris, father of this beautiful bride. Kristen, we're so proud of you. You're strong, independent, compassionate, and loving. We've been all for years at your work ethic, determination, and ability to pick yourself up. More importantly, you've always been careful of others' feelings and go out of your way to be kind. We are thankful to God for letting us be your parents and so blessed to have you in our lives. I've always looked up to her in several ways she's guided me. She is strong, loving, disciplined, and organized while still being so creative. It was always my job to protect you, to make sure no one ever hurt you, and to scare away all the boys. In hindsight, those might have been father's words. <laughs> Truth is, I never really had to do much work. You were always a good judge of character, strong and independent person from a young age, and incredibly organized. This made it harder to shine in the family because you were never late, you always kept your room clean, and you didn't hang around any thrill-seeking friends, unlike me. <laughs> to watch you grow up and become the person you are today is truly inspiring. I am so very happy for you and proud of you. I like to think that my job is complete tonight since you are marrying a wonderful man, Anthony. Anthony has already impressed us with his thoughtfulness and unshakable love for our daughter. What more could a father want for their child? You truly are a good man, Anthony. As I got to know Anthony more, I soon realized he was not just a good-looking guy with a six-pack, but he was also a good friend, compassionate, funny, and had the discipline of a monk, especially with his diet. The story is, I set these two up before they started dating, but in reality, I just provided a place and watched the magic happen. Well, it worked, and here we are today. But I am proud to not only call you a brother, but now my brother-in-law and a part of this family. Hey, you. Good turn to see you. You have discovered each other, you have made the conscious decision of commitment, and today you step over the threshold into the first day of the rest of your officially declared shared life. Hi, Anthony. Take you, Kristen, to be my best friend, my love, my wife. Hi, Kristen. Take Anthony to be my husband, my best friend, and my love for life. I'll be yours in times of plenty and in times of want, in times of sickness and in health, in times of joy and in times of sorrow, in times of failure and in times of triumph. As your wife, I will love you for the smart, caring, and funny man that you are and all that you aspire to be. I promise to unclog the tub, even though you're the only one with long hair. I promise to tolerate your icy hands and toes and drive a little safer on the highway. I will be open and honest, listen to you, forgive you, and find strength in our differences. I will laugh with you, share your pain, and cherish your presence. I promise to cherish and respect you, to care and protect you, to comfort and encourage you, and stay with you forever. I will always love you with all my heart. I will take on new adventures with you. But make sure you're back before bedtime. <laughs> I choose you today and for the rest of our tomorrows. I take you without fear. By the power vested in me by the state of Colorado, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Woo! Kristen, every dad knows that someday you may be asked to walk his daughter down the aisle, and I was honored to do so, and I will cherish that moment forever. Anthony, we most heartily welcome you into the family. We are honored to call you son-in-law. She is our pumpkin, and now she is your wife. Uh, one person who isn't here today is Anthony's late father, Doug, but I know he'd be damn proud of you. He turned out to be one hell of a man. And I'm so thankful to call you my best friend. 
In a blink of an eye, time passes by. Enjoy the journey. Live, love, laugh. Cherish and respect each other always. We love you. Everyone, let's raise our glasses for Kristen and Anthony. And drink that this next part of their journey be filled with laughter, joy, and maybe the occasional slice of pizza. Thank you.